typical opening game in cold weather and it's sort of a little rough on the pitchers. Crazy game, you know, we, uh, uh, you know, I just told our team I, I would have liked to have not walked as many guys, but on pitchers, uh, particularly a guy like Dawson that sinks the ball, he wasn't missing badly, but he just kind of kept missing low and uh, couldn't quite make the adjustment. And, you know, on a cold day sometimes, tough to get a feel. Uh, like the fact that we jumped on him early. Uh, thought that, you know, I thought Samuel had his moments. They, uh, you know, they hit a couple opposite field home runs on us. When we, seemed like when we hit the ball hard, it was into the wind. When they hit it hard, it was uh, to right field. And uh, with the wind blowing like it was, if you just got a ball up in the air, kind of in that direction, you had a chance. But, Give them credit. They battled back and got in the game. But I, I felt like Finitary really settled the game for us. Bussy was outstanding in the ninth inning. And, um, you know, we had to play a lot of guys. A couple guys got nicked up in the game. Campbell and Reed had to come out. Uh, you know, and we'll just see where, uh, where they're at tomorrow. I'm curious, and when people look at the game, they might overreact just based on the score and just how maybe it went down. I mean, for you, what did you kind of take from a game like this that high scoring, they obviously come back, but you guys obviously end up with the win? I took a lot of positives. Like, I just felt, you know, some of the pitching was a little bit unlucky. Uh, but, you know, like I said, like, if we can eliminate the walks, uh, I was happy with our defense. You know, Compton, I thought, made two outstanding plays, had a great day at the plate. And, uh, you know, and so that was really encouraging. And then, uh, you know, it's the first time Bussy's pitched, uh, you know, here, and he couldn't have thrown any better. Your, your two veterans really led the attack hitting-wise, Reed and, and Compton, and see Compton get two triples with his speed, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's unheard of, honestly, and, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, he, he's played a lot of baseball here, and Reed has, and, uh, yeah, both of them had, had really good days today. I believe 29-1 and one in uh, openers since you've been here. I mean, for you, that number, what does that kind of mean to you? Oh, no, it makes me happy, but I, I'm going to tell you this, and, and uh, now I'll, I'll say it now, but, you know, what was on my mind today was the, the one in that, uh, <laughs> in, in that, and I know who that one was against also. So, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing just how you remember losses way more sometimes than you remember wins. But, uh, no, you know, you always want to get off to a good start and just, you know, happy we got a W here today. You had a new starter this year. At first, uh, in Geisler replacing Jenkins, uh, he seemed to handle himself pretty well over there at first and slowing the bat also. Yeah, you know, he, uh, he's one of the hardest workers on the team. He's waited his time. Uh, but, boy, he's put the work in. He even put the work in last year when it didn't look like he was going to get much of a chance to play. Uh, and just, you know, outstanding student, hard worker, does everything the right way, and he's getting rewarded because he's put all the work in. I think obviously, just the more just the generic question. I mean, just obviously opening day, be able to come out there on the field, just kind of get it done. What are the feelings as uh, you guys get another season started? No, it's outstanding, you know. And, uh, you know, it, it was tough on the fans today. I kind of laughed when all the students rolled into right field there for a little while. They didn't stay very long, but I was happy they were out there. And, you know, hope, I know the weather's going to warm up. But, uh, no, it's always great to get started, always great to get started with a win and just see our guys play. What can we expect tomorrow with Logan McGuire on the mound? Uh, hopefully a lot of strikes. And, uh, you know, competitive guy needs to have, you know, all three pitches uh, kind of going for him. We're going to face a good pitcher tomorrow. Like, in my opinion, their best pitcher thrown tomorrow. He was an all-conference pitcher for them last year. And I know they have a lot of confidence in him. And the fact that they came back today, I know they'll come in here ready to go tomorrow. But, you know, I have all the confidence in the world in Logan. Thank you. Right. Coach, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. One down. Yeah. Were you seeing the ball well today? I sure was. I didn't really walk in the game trying to hit two triples either. I mean, it's funny how the game works, but saw the ball good. The whole team did. We got some great swings today, and I liked what I see out in the field. I'm curious. Uh, obviously, it's game one to be able to get this first one out of the boat. It was a little chaotic. Yeah. I mean, just to be able to get the first one down, what did it kind of mean? How did it kind of feel? Yeah, I mean, GT Baseball, we have some pretty exciting games. The conditions were obviously tough. I mean, some great swings by uh, Ohio. So it was good to come out on top, long game, but we grinded and we're the tougher team. What kind of lessons you kind of learn from a game like this? I mean, I'm sure the fans would look at it and be like, oh, man, they gave up a whole bunch of runs. But I mean, yeah. The day, lessons maybe you guys looked and took from it? Yeah, credit to the other team. I mean, what, we scored nine runs in the first inning. We're up by 10, 11 runs, and they came all the way back and made it four, three-run game. 
And so it's just always never let off the gas, keep going, keep swinging, never think you're just going to win in like the second inning because you obviously saw that game back. So it's a big lesson we learned for sure. Yeah, another year under your belt playing third base. How comfortable are you out there now playing third? Very comfortable. Obviously, whole last year played third. So it's natural right now, and, and I feel great over there. So excited. Uh, I was asked Coach about this. They, he put, he now is 29 and one all the time since he's been here on opening day. I mean, what kind of accomplishment do you think it is for him? And all he said was that he was thinking about that one loss. That kind of speaks to the kind of coach he is. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, great coach. I'm sure I knew the record or something like that, but it was great. It's great to add on to that win column and. Hopefully we can do it again tomorrow. I imagine you, you guys felt pretty good about Terry coming in and throwing strikes and and you know so you guys could be on your toes. You know, yep. Whole inning. Yeah. I mean he was waiting three three and a half hours to pitch and came out there throwing 94, 95, sinking, and so that's going to be tough to hit bottom nine or top nine. So it was great to see that out of him. He's disgusting, and hopefully we'll see more. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Tom. Cool. Thanks, Thanks guys. Man. Appreciate it. When did you find out you were going to get the start today? Uh, I found out about uh, three hours before the game when I showed up to the field. Uh, I was talking to Coach Ramsey and uh, just very excited, locked in, and got the opportunity. You had a pretty good fall hitting the ball. Did that carry over to preseason? Yes, it did. I was seeing the ball well in the fall and uh, just you know I put all the work in, so I just trusted it and went out there today and just had some good at-bats and uh, put some good swings on some balls. You guys are the first one out of the way. Just the energy to be able to get the first win under your belt, first game under your belt. I mean, just this moment. What was it like? Just great to, you know, come together with the guys, uh, have some fun, scoring a lot of runs. Um, it's a great time. I'm curious, just takeaway-wise, what do you guys kind of take from a game like this? I think from the fans, they're probably like, all right, they scored a bunch of runs, but they also gave up a bunch of runs. What is it that you guys kind of took from it? Well, I mean, as you see, a lot of people left. No, it's cold, but uh, scored a lot in the first inning. But hopefully we can continue to score and uh, let, let up a little less runs. Do you have a preference on which side of the plate you hit on? Uh, I like the left side better, but both sides very comfortable. Do you feel like you have more power from the left hand? I do, side? yes. Especially here, this ballpark, great yeah. lefty hitters ballpark. So They got a couple fly balls up out there. Were you looking for something like that today? I was, yes. <laughs> yes, that would have been nice. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep.